We drove out to Mulaney to film a music video for Lucy Francesca Drunt, Liquid Numbing Paint. So this song, I wrote it when I was 19 after a really intense breakup and relationship. It just helped me get through it. And then performing it really affected other people and they would always come up to me saying they were crying. The first time I heard Liquid Numbing Paint, all of us were just like, oh, we want to be a part of that. I like played it for Jono and I was like, we got to we got to do this. Man. This now is the third music video where I've directed and he's been my DOP. It just like flows. There's moments where I swear to God, we just, Mind link. Phoebe and I were already sort of like at a point where we could trust each other. Lucy was fantastic, always keen to get that final shot, whatever it was we needed. We kept pushing her, we kept wanting her to get a little bit crazier, a little bit more sort of involved. I think she's quite a perfectionist of sorts, and so to get it right really matters, and I think she understood that that was part of the process. Everyone was like on board and in sync with each other. I think it was a very harmonious experience. Good pre-prod makes a good production, and that's what I felt happened in this shoot. This was an idea that Lucy was handing to the both of us to bring to life. And that's why it was so essential, I think, to have him there throughout pre-production. This wasn't just my idea. This was something that both of us had to interpret for Lucy. When I started imagining the video, I always loved the idea of red lighting being involved with it and that kind of coming in as the song gets more emotional. Having Lucy be so aware of what she wanted allowed us to really come in with the shots and be like, okay, this is how we're looking and we can make some adjustments to make sure that you're happy with this as well. The bedroom scene, we had this shot where I like fall back and the fabric pulls off me. That turned out perfectly. And then the lighting was just perfect. One of the ideas and vision for this music video was a bedroom sequence that had heaps of crescendos in her like emotive state or very sort of like hollow and sorrowful moments. We wanted choreographed lighting that would support that. And the only way to do that is getting a DMX controller. This DMX controller had access to the house lights, the two sky panels that we had, and the Titan tubes that we were using as well. Me and Lucy had workshops down to the exact moment when all those lights were happening so that we knew exactly what we wanted. But to have both on the desk, you're just like, hey, actually, can I just add one more flash? And they're like, yeah, done. Just tell me when, just shout it out, and I'll, I'll do it. Having a lighting team makes such a difference on any set. You can feed off that momentum really well. It made me focus more on the job as the GOP. It was easy to sort of be creative on the Squad. So we had a Blackmagic 6K on a handheld rig and then a Blackmagic 4K on a gimbal rig. Those two cameras cut really well with each other and they produce a very cinematic quality without blowing your budget completely. It's a true sort of indie filmmaking tool. I think that you can do a lot of stuff on a very frugal budget. There are things that you need to know what you're doing if you're doing it frugally. It seems so easy as well, just being like, yeah, strap in a light to the back of the car and we'll just ride all the way up. And when we were doing that the first time around, it was looking fantastic, but the car did not like that. So uh, we went for the classic, just like walking backwards. We really just kind of flowed through every mishap. It was just like, oh, this isn't working, but we're all calm, we're collected, and we're just gonna keep going. Being able to combine like a holiday getaway in Mulaney with shooting a music video, it was just hitting all the dopamine in my brain. It was very, very satisfying. And I think I enjoy having that balance of, of work and play. This is Beltry Ridge. It very much had the same characteristics that Lucy envisioned. We're looking for that dark wood look, as well as just the many rooms that we can kind of navigate through as we go through Lucy's journey. We're going through the different areas around the house as well. I think there's a merge between the very physical representations of depression with how scattered and disarrayed the house is and how disarrayed Lucy is. And then also this kind of conceptual linking with this red fabric that comes around and that engulfs her and that holds her all together. It kind of became a linking factor between everywhere we're going through the house and through the scenes. Kind of like the fabric itself is pulling Lucy along on this journey. I feel like my internal world is like coming out. <laughs> I'm just an awkward person I feel like but I love performing. I'm at this point in my life where I'm trying to push myself out of comfort zones. There's also a part of me that always wanted to be an actor. It's been amazing. I think Lucy's acting has so transformed and developed. You want to be able to connect with people visually. Not just what you sound like, but also what you look like and what you act like and how this artist persona, you know, exists in this little world that you're creating. She kind of knew when she wanted to be really leaning into us and when she wanted to pull back a little bit and 
give us just that depth of performance. A couple more videos and she's gonna be really good at this because she picked it up real quick. It's been amazing. John and Phoebe and I feel like have been on the same page with everything. We all just get in the zone. <laughs> it's like we're not ourselves because we're just like working. You know, I've always wanted to work on bigger productions, but working with the right people with good music and good ideas is often rare. Having that relationship with Real Fills has been an awesome experience. A music video for me, it gets to take the song on a journey and whether that's another journey that kind of goes with other people's interpretation of the music or if that completes where the song was leading us to in the first place. It can be its own identity, its own beautiful thing. You know, there's people who say like, oh, listen to this song and then there's people who say you gotta watch that music video.